Hey friends, welcome back to the shop this week. Got a phone call from Steve over at Barker Machine that the block is all ready for the next steps in the engine build. So we're going to head over there right now and actually take a look and get a little bit more understanding on the boring and the honing process that he does on these. So excited to see it. Let's go. got this zeroed where we want the cylinder to finish at 4.030 when we're all done. I'm going to go in here and check. So we've got four thousands left to hone out. That's about where we want to be. So we want to try to take the minimal we need to take off of it to allow us enough to clean the hole up So because we don't want to drop the center line of the crank down to a point where the chain gets loose. Okay. So um, we're going to try to get an even amount. We're going to bring this up till it touches. 
Okay. Pass on it. See what we look like. And that's the stones hitting pretty even across there, which is good. That way we're going to have an even amount across that cap. It won't be sitting on there at an exaggerated angle. Sometimes it'll just hit on the edge. So we'll, we'll need to shim or move that cap to where we try to get them to, to hit flat. But that looks pretty good. Okay. A lot of the Ford caps sometimes are pretty square. So we're in good shape here. We're going to touch and we're going to dial up and cut about four thousandths off of each cap. Okay. clean surface there and we will deburr all the areas. And blow all the dust out of it. So we deburred the registers, threads are clean and Got good press on there, which is good. Always try to center the caps. We're going to sit the mandrel up for particular motor we got three mandrel sizes for you know from from smaller housing bores to larger ones depending on what you're working on this is our medium mandrel uh, for the Cleveland here and then we'll get some what they call the centering pins this gets our mandrel set up to the height we need it to This allows us to adjust the uh, height of the shoes up and down opposite of the stones. So we're going to let these down to where we're, those are flat on there and then I usually go about another eighth of a turn down off the center. And it helps get you a rounder hole. And then we'll check our height of the block with the handle here to make sure we're lining up. Adjust that a little bit. And lock it down. And then we're we're set up to the line. And now we're going to cut the other four caps, same amount off of them. So hopefully we have the same amount to come out of every hole when we start to line hone it. Very cool. Sometimes you get into blocks that have spun bearings and they've got the block or the cap chewed up and those get a little bit more time consuming. You may have to put a new cap on it. So we keep a lot of, a lot of caps off of old different blocks that we can go through and find a match close enough that we can cut it and line hone it and, and repair something that's been damaged. This one fortunately hasn't been um, all beat up too bad, so it should be a pretty straightforward <laughs> job. We want you to use some Molly Lube, get the correct amount of bolt stretch that they want to see.
I'm going to have about uh, two thousandths come out. Two thousandths on that one are real good. Two thousandths. Two thousandths, two tenths, that's good. Two thousandths. So we're shooting for zero. We have the gauge already set to our target number which on this one we're shooting for a 2 inch 942 they lag up to 2 942 and a half Angel in it. I'm gonna set our stone pressure here and we're going to set our stop try to get the, the stones on each end right in about the middle of those two caps and I'll set my stop there. Same on the other end. Kind of get it somewhere about middle.
All right, that wraps up another episode. This particular step was a first for me. I've never seen kind of behind the doors, behind the curtains, so to speak, of the machine shops doing what they do on those blocks and then getting it ready for the next step. Now, that next step is actually assembly. So Steve has all the parts with the exception of one, believe it or not, and that is the cams. The cams are expected to be in next month in December. So I think he's going to go ahead and start uh, assembly with what he has. And then, uh, then hopefully here in the next month to two months, we'll have the full motor built. We'll go ahead and show as much of that as we possibly can before it hits the dyno. All right, so thanks once again for following along. We certainly appreciate you. And until next episode, stay safe, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye.